18 months in captivity after being convicted of stealing a propaganda poster from his hotel. The U.S. believes Warmbier was tortured. He died in 2017, shortly after he was flown back to the U.S. in a coma. And Charles Jenkins deserted his military post in 1965 and crossed the Korean border. He was dishonorably discharged from the military. He also died in 2017. Back here at home, lots of stuff happening and the Valley home to many boxers who have gone on to do incredible work in the ring. And Daniel's here with our invite to one event that will have us all excited and cheering these boxers on because they are so talented. And of course, the 956 is here to stand proud and behind them. Always, always, always. And I've come to know so many Valley boxers here, Daisy, and one of my friends is going to be at this event, and I'm so excited about it, even oh. though I don't know anything about boxing. I know. You might cringe a little <laughs> to see your friend get punched, though, so get uh, ready. Yeah, but you know what? I think he's going to do good, so we can witness this, okay? Everyone in the Rio Grande Valley community is really pumped about this upcoming fight. It's going to feature our very own Roberto Garcia, and it's all going down at the Heinz Event Center in Mercedes this Saturday, and it's a anticipated to draw in a pretty good turnout, okay? La, and I hope I get this right, Daisy, you let me know. Amanessa? Aman Amanasa. Okay, thank you, Daisy. As Roberto is often referred to, is going to be putting on the main source of entertainment that night. But, you know, there will be plenty to witness there, live and in person, if you do head on out. Now, the co-main event is going to feature Jose El Mudo Tamez, and he's going to be fighting for the Texas Bantamweight Whittle and Nelson Hot Hands. Now, Hampton is going to be fighting for the United States ABF lightweight title, among so many others that are going to be on the lineup. So, organizers really just have the fantastic four on the undercard representing the city of Westlico. Plus, names like Jimmy Delgadillo, Ruman Urquiza, Marcelo Reyes, and Enrique Lara Bas are all going to be in the mix. And from our very own city of Harlingen, you can catch Rafael Murphy alongside Brownsville's own Emilio Quiroz. So definitely a lot of big Valley names to be on site for sure. And it's all being hosted by Marines Promotions, brought about in partnership by Flight Next Generation of Light Beer. And this is a world championship match, you guys. So if you do attend, that means you're going to be catching history in the making right here in our RGV home. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, especially since it means supporting our talented 956 boxing community, then all you have to do is note the address there on your screen so you know exactly where to go on Saturday. And, you know, if you'd like more info, you can always text that number there or you can visit allevents.inmercedes.com. It should be a pretty action-packed night, like I said, and we definitely hope to see you out there. So I'm excited about about this although Daisy I didn't think this through you're right I'm I'm gonna witness my friend getting a little <laughs> get a little crazy out there but you know he's tough you should see these guys in the gym guys I'm sure they are and you know it's I always wonder about that because you see the pay-per-view boxing yeah. fights with the big <sighs> names the Canelos mm -hmm. etc and then they always uh, show a shot of their wives or their family and I'm <laughs> like I wonder what they're thinking when they're oh. up in the ring they're just helpless they just have to stand by and cheer them on mm -hmm. but they have to watch <laughs> their loved ones get punched oh, you know man. sometimes brutally so even you like know. The, the MMA where they get like kicked in oh. the face I'm just like how can their you're right your, their loved ones just watch mm -hmm. them get obliterated sometimes <laughs> but I, I didn't realize we had so much boxers in the valley mm -hmm. oh my gosh Big so community. many and you know what when I did interview Roberto last time he even gave me like a belt I have it in my room oh, it's like so cool. framed I have oh, it so special to me oh. yeah so I mean man they're so nice and they're, they're so nice. supportive of the community and yeah and that's why we should be supportive of them and yes la amenaza that means the threat Hopefully he's going to be a big threat in the ring. Yes, I love you, Roberto, but I am not good at Spanish. <laughs> Daisy and Chris have to help me out here. That's what we're here for. Don't you worry. Appreciate you. <laughs> well, how about Chris? Can you help us out a little bit and give us a, at least a couple degrees of a cool down? I mean, Gosh. come on. We've taken this heat like champs. Please, yes. It's been knocking us right. out. It's a good fight, Chris. Come Gosh, on. And you know, you have to wait until October or November <laughs> oh, for those man. cooler temperatures. You know, it's the valley, you know. It is. But so uh, we are expecting uh, just really no significant cool down, at least for the next few days. Here's a live look right now from South Texas College in McAllen. Right now, 81 degrees, 78 degrees for those current temperatures with southeast winds at 9 miles an hour. Going into the next uh, few hours, expect those temps to continue being in the upper 90s and triple digits by this afternoon. But uh, we are also going to be dealing with triple digit temps all across the Lone Star State. So a fairly hot.